skin lightening. It is a very common cultural practice within my household. And why do we do this? What is the origin of this practice? Well, it is because the ideal beauty standard within the Philippines is a mestiza, who is someone who shares similar characteristics to someone of European descent. And usually that would be light skin and a tall nose, but more leaning towards more on the light skin. So why is mestiza the ideal beauty standard? Well, this stems from our centuries of being colonized by those of the West, such as Spain and America. As back then, light skin was a symbol that you were educated, that you did not have to work in a farm or in the fields, and that you spent your time with the elites. Unlike with those of tanner skin, they had to work under the sun, they had to work hours on end to meet the ends of they had to work hours on end to meet the needs of the family which meant that they could not afford a proper education in our in my culture the color of your skin signifies your socioeconomic worth as i've mentioned a while ago and the practice is still relevant today through the use of through the the practice is still the practice is still relevant today through the use and the promotion of skin lightening products this can range from toners to creams to soaps to even bleach and glutathione ivy drops and the cheaper versions of these products are laced with mercury which is very dangerous to the human body and can cause nerve tremors and even liver problems and even rashes. Glutathione, however, it is possibly safe to use but there's not much research backing it up and it's been said that it can cause rashes and cramping and even bloating. And this is still relevant today due to the same reasons as I've mentioned before. Lighter skin means you are elite while tanner skin means that you have to work hard because you are underprivileged. I honestly think that this practice should stop and if it can't stop because of how deeply rooted this is in our culture, then at least slowly diminish it from our culture because I've seen how detrimental this is to the health of many Filipinas in my household and to many of my relatives who are of tanner skin especially to their self-esteem as they are constantly compared and constantly getting treatments to become lighter staying away from the sun just to become of lighter skin which isn't good for the health so to make people aware of this practice they have to ensure that they are reading the ingredients of the skin lightening products just to make sure that there is no trace of any harmful chemicals and they should just accept their skin color for what it is. It is a difficult journey but it is a worthful journey and I think that this accepting of skin color and I think that the media has the power to make Filipinas accept their skin color for what it is. As I see now that there are so many different kinds of Filipino celebrities and influencers that are not just of Mestiza Beauty, but Morena, which is basically the typical Filipino with tanner skin and a flatter nose, and Chinitas, which are of Chinese descent such as examples of Morena influencers would be Bretman Rock, Nadine Lustre, Isa Calzado, and so much more. And for Chinitas, that would be um, and for Chinitas, that would be Kim Chu, Nadine Lustre, not Nadine Lustre, wait, no. Chinita, Chinita, ah! And for influencers, and for Chinita influencers, that would be. And for Chinita influencers, that would be Kim Chu, 
Sofia Concho, and even our own Julia Enriquez. So, yes, if you were to take away one thing from this video, it would be to try your best to stop this practice of skin lightening as it is just causing more harm than good and creating unrealistic standards for something that cannot be changed and that we should encourage others to accept their skin color for what it is and yeah that's the end of my video yeah that's pretty much it <laughs>